What's up, y'all? It's your girl Kay back with D, and we are excited to bring you another video. Today, we are doing a quick follow up on the last vlog that we posted with who won the $25 couple thrift challenge. The votes are in, and I lost. So, I, I actually want to read some of the comments. I mean, I called it, I knew I was going to win. Thank you all. This was um, really hard work and I just want to thank, you know, my mom for giving me oh, the eye. Shut up. <laughs> um, thank you to Caitlin supporters who are now my supporters. I really appreciate you all. Um, yeah, I did it for y'all. So let's see, let's see. At Millie Sent Granville, 1630 said, I love you, Kay, but D1. Come on, Millie. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you, thank you, she did really well. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, Millie. Kay's homegirl, Crescid. Crescid said, it's so hard to pick a winner. Love my girl, Kay. Oh, this is hard. Mm. I choose both. And then she gave pointers as to why she chooses both of us. So yeah. Kay's outfit. Okay. Leggings look great. Chunky sweater. Brown crossbody bag and boots. Can't go wrong. I know, baby. that was a pretty sick fit. And then D's outfit, simple color, gray pants, with various gray tones, and the top paired with the white converse. Not gonna lie. I came hard. You did damage, but like... But the comments are like clearly saying that you won. Plus our friends have also told us that you won that challenge. I don't know if y'all watched the last video, but we left the winner in your hands and we said loser would have to take a lemon shot. No, 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 no. You said losers had to take three lemon shots. Three? I'm not taking three. Okay. Since it's Sunday, it's the Lord's Day. We'll be nice. I'll be nice. And you'll take one lemon shot. Let me pour it out. I was already going to just take one. Cheers. This is for y'all. Thank you, my new supporters. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry because we're gonna do this challenge again and you best believe that when we do it, I'm a win. Yeah. You got um, lucky, that was beginner's luck. Dude, I have my own clothing brand. I do this in my sleep too. Um Okay, 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 okay. Okay, chill. Also, Kay and I, we've been talking about just doing other challenges and obviously fashion is our forte, so we plan to like you know, mingle in the fashion um, world and challenge world, whatever. But we also um, spoke about some dope challenges that we want to do. Um, and I think you all will really, 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 really like it. So please stay tuned for that because I'm excited to do it. I know Kay, you are as well. And we love leaving it up to y'all to judge. Um, so I really think you'll like the new challenge. So yeah, just keep subscribing. Um, we love doing this for y'all. We have so much fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this challenge is gonna be fun. Right? Yeah, on a day-to-day -day basis, Dee and I already have tons of fun and we're both very competitive, which is why this works out for your entertaining purposes, but yeah. <laughs> very competitive. I don't know who's more, com I think you're more competitive yeah. just coming from basketball and stuff, but I'm like very competitive as well. Okay, so, okay. Um, yeah, enjoy. Shots up, baby. Enjoy. This is a lemon. This is good for you. This is one of all the, the virus. Okay, you're getting the next one. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> so, one really popular podcast on YouTube is called Two Hot Takes. They do really, really well done reddit reactions and they give advice on like all kinds of stuff that people are writing into reddit i love this podcast so much i think reddit is so funny it's messy and it's very entertaining and some people are petty and yeah but also people come like anonymously when they really like don't have anywhere else to go so today we're just gonna weigh in on a few little stories d hasn't read them and you haven't heard maybe a bunch of these stories too so we're gonna weigh in together and just see what you think what i will say is i'm not really into the whole reddit thing but k listens to these every single second of the day homegirls in the shower i hear all the blood sleeping 
I hear all the blam. It's so funny. Yeah. I find people so interesting. So it's just like real life tea. It's so funny. I'm like, yo, hold on, pull up. Let me hear that again. Cause like yeah. some people really have some weird shit going on. Some crazy stuff um, and D will be like, no way. And I'm like, see, you like this too. So in this case, um, Kay will read it. Um, we'll both give our reactions, our opinions, but then we also want you uh, to get involved because like we all have different, um, you know, views on life, opinions, and that's fine. So let, let's, let's spice up the comments. And like, I really, we really want to see what y'all have to say. So before we jump into this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you can be alerted whenever we drop some videos. Comment, like, share it to a friend. It all helps. So with that being said, let's get into this. Cheers. My mom gave us this bottle of wine and it's really good. I do not drink white wine. I think it's... It gives me headaches. Bad. Put in the comments, are you a red wine? Or are you a white wine? Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. So, the title for this one is I am thinking of leaving my boyfriend. I am 25 female, boyfriend 32 male. I have been with him since I was 19 and he was 26. We have lived with each other for three years. I work full time, pay half the bills, and so does he. He won't help me around the house no matter how much I beg and plead with him. I end up saying nasty things to him out of pure tiredness. I'm, I'm a full-time barber, so on my feet all day, he works in an office. I have asked him, I have sat down with him having breakdowns about how tired I am and he won't change and doesn't see it as a problem. I finally rang his mother and told her everything and to my surprise, she was really apologetic she normally stands up for him on everything. Yeah. Would you leave a partner of six years over them not helping with the house, no matter how much you ask? I feel like most people would read that um, and be like, okay, like easy fix. First option maybe is like, if it's in the budget, you know, get a maid. So like both of them won't even have to lift a finger. And it seems like she already like had that conversation with him and like, no one's changing or sorry he's not changing for some people it's like okay whatever like it's just being clean but for me personally knowing how i am as a person and how i value my space it's a good enough reason to leave someone after six years like if you're repeatedly telling them like not yo like i need some help and like you're like literally you're a barber so you're standing on your feet all day and then they're yeah. at an office which typically they're sitting right? yeah 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 like i mean that's pretty selfish for him to not pitch in mm -hmm. and the other thing is like i've learned over time that just because something has taken a lot of time to be invested in doesn't actually make it more valuable oh yeah so this isn't and am I the asshole story, but it's someone seeking relationship advice. The title reads, my 21 female boyfriend, 22 male, made me sit in the back so his ex, 24 female, could have the front seat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I, 21 female, have been together with my boyfriend, 22 male, for about two years now. Things have been all right. I cannot complain about anything in particular, except that at the start of our relationship, he kept mentioning his ex-girlfriend a lot. Example, oh, my ex had different body feature than you do, oh or my, my ex had the same bra as you do, <laughs> and so on. You best believe oh. I never wore that bra again. <laughs> I didn't need to know what information, or I didn't need to know that information. They were together when he was 15 and she was 17. At one point, I got tired of me being somewhat compared to his ex-girlfriend. Also, besides him mentioning her in certain situations, he told me that she's a bad person and that she took advantage of his immaturity. His friends told me that she's not that great either, and I've got to see her once unexpectedly in a store while shopping for groceries. Mm -hmm. I bumped into her while looking for something and she snapped at me for not looking where I was going. Mm. That was kind of my fault. I am clumsy sometimes. Yesterday, me and my boyfriend decided to go back to our hometown. Apparently, she moved towns as well and lives quite close to us. We were putting her bags in the car when my boyfriend saw her down the street and called her name. 
They hugged oh. and he asked her what she was doing. How has she been? And she told us that she's going back home but has no ride. So she has to figure something out. Here we go. My boyfriend offered to drive her as well, which I didn't have a problem with until he told me to go sit in the back <laughs> so she can stay in the front. Oh, the whole ride, I felt inexistent, uncomfortable, and miserable. My boyfriend didn't check on me. He only talked with her and her as well only with him. And for those who will probably say, well, why didn't you say something yourself? I tried to, but every time I was cut off by her and my boyfriend didn't notice or he acted like he didn't. I don't even know which is worse. I feel betrayed and shocked since he never showed interest in other women, especially his ex-girlfriend. What do I do now? You can like dissect this a little bit because like for me, one, they're like super young. Yeah, that and, was gonna be my first thing. Like, yeah, that. like just like every relationship, and I mean, you all can probably speak to this as well. Like the first one, the first person that you're ever with hurts bad. It hurts bad, and especially if they're like assholes, you can't you can't seem to shake them. I mean, this is kind of self-explanatory. Homegirl, you bounce. Like that's crazy. Like imagine, imagine me saying, "Okay, go to the back." Like I'm not sitting in the back. So what I'm are you not saying? sitting in oh, the yeah. back. So what are you saying to me? I'm gonna be like, first of all, you're bright. Why are you even suggesting this in front of so and so? And again, I'd be saying this in front of her. I'd be like, yeah, like you know, mm -hmm. no offense, but like. This is a no-brainer. Yeah. If, if we're doing, if we are doing the courtesy to get you from point A to point B as a plus one yeah. in this twosome, you need to get your ass to the bag. You're not finna yeah. sit in my spot. Me personally, just me, like, there's nothing wrong with saying hi to an ex, but like, leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? There's Uber. <laughs> like, there's your there's the train there's the bus like there's other forms of transportation homegirl like i'm sorry you know she knew what she was doing oh yeah she knew oh, what yeah. she was doing but aside from him like you can't really point fingers at her it's the it's boyfriend him too. it's him it's the boyfriend homeboy you are like, he's allowing it he's he's making her a significant part of their relationship yeah. and he's she's obviously the ex is still a significant part of his life yeah hence why She's being compared. Yeah, the comparison like, is insane. Cut the that body weight. parts. Yeah, the, the bra. bra. Cut oh, that boy. weight loose. You need to like be by yourself and heal. I mean, they're still young, so that they will figure it out. Like Dee said, this was posted 14 hours ago. Mm -hmm. They'll figure it out. Okay, then it's... Uh, but yeah, so thank you for tuning in to our first Reddit Am I the Asshole response video. We love these. And the reason I thought that this would be so good for all of us is because Dee and I are constantly debating and having deep conversations just about like hypothetical situations or social commentary. So we want to just bring you in to the conversations that are already happening on this side. Like she mentioned, I love these kinds of videos. So I was excited to bring more of this content to you with Dee. I think we're gonna dive into maybe some more relationship stuff. I don't know, it's totally up to y'all. Like, why don't you let us know what you're looking for and yeah. we can dive into some of the stuff that you're interested in. And I thought this was fun. What did you think of this? Yeah, it was fun, it was fun. Just, it was cool see how people think and how they move i just like the tea like i'm i'm gonna be honest i like the tea so <laughs> thank you for tuning in we have some really cool content on the way that we can't wait to show you so keep an eye out for that it's gonna be rolling out in the next few weeks either way we've got more to come and thank you for kicking it with us today be blessed stay safe drink your water and Mind your business. I feel like a, I feel like a, like a, like a thinking face.